Welcome to a new day in Imperium Galactic Survival and we've managed to get through the first day of this new Let's Play and in this part I think we're going to have to come out and get rid of this spider's nest so that we can mine some iron, some silicon and copper in this area because I really need to work pretty quickly towards the getting a hover vehicle up and running so what we're going to do is we're going to jump on the bike and get out here I'm going to pick up some natural sweetener on the way through because well there's some berry bushes there as well actually let's, let's just jump off there and grab the bike and then it's gonna I think we'll do this on foot actually to be easier and, uh, wow just for luck we're just grab this and just work towards the the plant protein and the natural sweeteners. I mean, probably we're going to go for things. We're now level five, so we're doing really well at the moment. Let's grab the uh, natural sweetener. That's. Keep away from me. What I want to do is get rid of that spider's nest ASAP. Okay, look. Yeah, we've got some stakes, we've got a survival constructor. I'm kind of inclined to make a couple of bandages. We've got plenty of food at the moment. And see, so you've got the problem at the moment is the temperature. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. That's the reason why I brought the uh, thermal protection with us. Because until we got some armor, I think. Hey. Wow, they sneaked up on me. Okay. In some ways, the. Gotcha. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on the body temperature because if we start to get cold, we will suffer from problems. I know I don't really need the resources, but. Right. So look, make sure there's no more spiders around. Anyone else around here? Grab this, it's not that it's going to last that long. Of course, what we're going to do is get into resource drill mode because there could be there's often there's chests buried under this here, so I'm just going to try and find anything that's buried underneath there. Well, there should be chests, something buried under here. Oh, there is one there. Well, we've got some nutrient solution and nothing else there. Okay. <laughs> A couple of alien forms. And it's just, and of course, got to be a bit careful because with, actually, let's just use the. The dr uh, drone. I uh, can't get the plant fiber, but I don't think it's going to be a big problem. I can't, I've got no idea how many chests are actually buried in here, but we'll just make sure. Yeah, we're getting cold, so. Okay. Let's just deploy this. Get the body temperature back up again. back to here what we need to do now is do some mining I think we'll start with the silicon because I think that's the lowest we got and 
I mean, there's going to be risk. You can see how low the temperature is here at the moment. And oh, we're going to mine silicon, so there's no point worrying too much about that. Oh, go away. Oops, and he clipped him. Watch ya. <laughs> Oops. Gotta reload. Just in. Panicking. Gotcha. Are you? <laughs> the problem is the spiders aren't the risk, it's the, it's the cold. We need to get up here. Another pile of the buggers here. I'm going to stand here. <sighs> That's up. No. Come on, get up here quick so we can get close to the. I know I'm feeling cold. Oh. Right, I think we're close enough to, to function. And what we're going to do is drop the that down as well. We got some meat, so. And we don't have any spices. What we can do is just turn that into meat while we're at it. Put the silicon in there as well. We've got some berries. Let's just make some of those and one of those. Oh, that was interesting. And uh, well, we're gonna have to risk this, guys. So, and it's gonna go in here. We do need the silicon as quickly as possible. Let's just double tap that. I can keep an eye on my body temperature and see if anyone's sneaking up on me. <laughs> right, this is a medium deposit, so this is going to have give me a lot of resources to get going and working with. Um, I mean, to be honest, the radar is absolutely useless with respect to hostiles and creatures. I think we've wiped out most of the current resistance in the form of spiders, so we should be okay. You know, I don't want absolute masses of these resources. What I do want is to have enough to be going on with. Right, I haven't dug out that much at the moment, but I think I've got enough at the moment to get into there that we can actually start producing silicon or uh, ingots. Make 40. Ingots weigh less than the raw ore, so if we convert it to ingots whilst we're actually mining, that will save us a little bit of time. Right, guys, I think I've probably got enough for the moment. Actually, one thing I haven't done is where's the. We need to put a permanent marker there as a, our base so we know where our base is going to be. And. Let's put some more in here. Um, how we doing? We got. I'm just gonna let that get knocked out. Just gonna build that while that's going on. We're gonna go around here, and we might as well take advantage and gather some more resources. Every everything we pick up is useful. And of course, it all adds XP. Wait. And I could probably do with some more logs, actually, to be honest. So we have um, a I can't remember if you actually need to unlock the. Oh, the chainsaw's already unlocked. That's okay. There's no point worrying about the multi-tool weapons. Can't see. I mean, we got armor here. I can unlock that just to show you guys. But of course, there's no point making it at the moment because. 
we don't have any resources or anything to do. Um, we don't have an armor locker to change. I, make, I could probably. But, uh, hey, what's that got? Mind you, so. Right, let's just get back because we'll be we'll suffering from the cold. Um, right, we've got enough that and that and that. How much weight capacity have we got at the moment? Drop that into the bar. Oops, bit of a fail there, guys. So get a bit of food. Actually, I still didn't check what's the 231. I think we're just going to walk through what's near. Copper's the other direction, iron's over there. A bit more silicon, let's pick that up. And I think we're probably going to have enough space to pick up a reasonable amount of iron and then take that back to our base and then we're going to have to come back out. Copper. And we've now reached level 6, wow. Certainly punching through these lower levels. Um, the silicon, where's the iron? There's the iron deposit over there. Let's grab this silicon. Don't recall going through these the levels so quickly in the past. Then I am I've killed a lot of spiders, a lot more spiders than I've done in previous playthroughs. So we'll just keep we might as well just keep picking our stuff up, adding to our and we'll pick the natural sweetener up on the way through as well. The insect over there, but it shouldn't be a problem. So keep an eye on the body temperature. Let's just get a, a bit of a crack on over there. Maybe if we get see I'll run over here. Can we on the open plane here? It's gonna have some risks associated with it. And we'll grab that. And I think this will be relatively safe. Let's get a bit closer. Get the iron deposit, I think that's about it. Let's just deploy the heater so we don't die. That's what we're also going to do is put out there. And it's going to put the iron and the silicon in. And we've got a little bit of copper, so it's going to. Put that up and running. Double tab so we can keep an eye on the temperature and see. I'm just going to get down here and mine out some iron. Again, I'm not going to mine out the whole deposit. In fact, I could, probably should have got a bit closer than this actually. Um, nah, we'll be okay. There we are. We're on the iron. Hi right, guys, welcome back. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more or I think I've got enough to be going on with uh, maybe one more that's it so just come back here and get into safe space I'm just going to drop this in here and we've got 181 just make up some of this here and we're okay at the moment I'm just going to pick up that while I actually scout around this area yeah we can bit more uh, raw ore. Anything else around here of interest? So I don't really want to tangle with insects. I haven't seen any insects out here, so uh, pretty good at the moment. Uh, grab that. Looks like there's a berry bush over there, so we're certainly going to grab that. That that be something to stay healthy with. Get that, pick up one of those. 
you know, we're already getting the spoiled food building up, which is slightly annoying, but there's nothing we can do about it, so. Um, I think we'll just grab that bit of copper there. Well, you know, eventually we're going to have to start gathering rocks. But maybe we'll make a little bit of a start now. Because if we're going to build a base, we're going to need concrete. Although, if we get a good opportunity, we might be able to jump straight to steel blocks rather than concrete blocks. So, let's get back to the portable constructor. Hopefully, we will be able to pick up everything that we've got. But this is another reason why I've got the second portable constructor here. Actually, let's cancel this. Nope, see. So what we're going to do is leave that here. And, just gonna... and then what we're going to do is jump on the bike. And see the rescue module so it's not that far away and of course we can now put these ingots in we don't need and anything that we don't need can get chucked into here uh, alien plasma. Well, we can put that in there for the moment. Uh, kind of, we've got plenty of food, so let's just knock out another bandage. Keep that separate. We're going to leave these in here because the uh, energy bars don't degenerate when they're actually tucked in there. And the other thing we will do here now we've got the resources. Is if I come to weapons, I'm gonna make ourselves a chainsaw. I don't know, can I make any? Um, oh. And we got plant fibers, we've got a few logs, so what we're gonna do is we'll store 50 of those. Let's make about uh, 10 fuel so that we can actually do it. So just jump back onto the bike. Looks like at least the uh oh great Perhaps. okay sometimes you get caught like that so why is my, why is my, why won't it let me pick up the bike there it is what i wanted to do is pick up these spices so. Hopefully when we get back to this iron deposit, everything will be broken down quite nicely. Oh, I think I found the hole. That would be embarrassing. Yeah. I'm just going to hook you up like that. Right, let's find the... Copper deposits are over this way. And there's actually some small wreckage that way as well, so what we're gonna do is jump back onto the bike. Temperature's holding up at the moment. Actually let's just pop uh, that energy bar. Can't remember whether we visited the wreckage, so hello guys. At the wreckage over there. Yeah. So we'll go down and check out the wreckage to see what we can get. And this is quite interesting. I don't think I've seen this one before. Here. 
got another detox kit and some more water. About the only one here. It's worth checking sometimes. Let's have a quick look. What do I need? Now we got the perish times okay on the the natural sweetener at the moment, so I don't think I want to pick up anything else at the moment because there's no point collecting the vast quantities of uh, the food items until we've got a fridge running, which we will be fairly soon. Let's see some more protein there. So, gonna have that. I mean, protein bars are a good staple for the initial start of the game. Grab that. I mean. Let's find the copper. Right. Grab that. No. Where are you, copper? There you are. And I think we should be okay. I'm a bit worried about being close to the trees, but um, just drop the structure up as well. We've got nothing that we can convert or build at the moment. We don't have any. So, actually what I could do. Oh. Weapons. Oh, we don't have any steel plates or nitrocellulose anyway, because I've emptied everything. Okay. Aha. Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a fail here. Oops. Put that there so that we don't. I have the cold. Gonna a bit closer. Um, night's coming, so I don't really want to spend too long here because the last thing I want to be is attacked by night raptors. So we're gonna s snatch as much copper as we can as quickly as we can. This is a small deposit, so it shouldn't take long to this out. I mean we've got two deposits side by side so looking good. Yeah this is this is not gonna take long to mine out. We're not actually getting anything as well. Oh got a little bit of copper. Okay guys welcome back. Uh, let me just mine a little bit more. I think I've got enough to be going on with look here. Yeah, we got 121. I think that would be more than enough for what I want to do. And destroy the bike. Of course, what we're going to have to do is get into here. Nothing in the structure because I didn't have anything to do. That's up. Got back onto here. Of course, it's in the dark. So, but at least the bike has got a headlamp on it. So we're just going to get back to our Havoc rescue module. Avoid the lizards. So let's get back to back to the base. Let's curve around here. And just we're gonna, first thing we're going to do is deploy the protection bike up. And what we can do now is shove in our resources. So we got. Plenty of resources. That out, and we're okay for food. Don't need that at the moment. We we got. Don't have any meat, which is a bit unfortunate. We got a bit more spoiled food that can go in there. The grain's probably going to spoil anyway, so there's no point worrying about it. And that means we are now ready for to work on putting the unit, the necessary components together to make a hover vehicle and what do we need how many points we've got 81 points we certainly want the small constructor uh, we're gonna have to and the fridge oops we have to unlock cargo boxes and the container controllers we're certainly going to need the rcs's the thrusters and the 
of engines because we're not going to go with the ground propulsion engines. We have to lock and lock that. I don't think we need anything down here just at the moment. We're going to have to use small thrusters, not worried about the Gatling guns. Certainly going to unlock the bridge. And we're certainly going to need container controllers and container extensions. 45. We're certainly going to need the detector. We need to get to this armor locker. So let's just go unlock that. And I think that's about everything we're going to need. And what I'm going to do is probably put together a very basic ship and then we'll expand it once I go mobile. So that's about everything I need. Let's just get into here. And what do I need straight away? Well, we're certainly going to need a cockpit, fuel tank. Why can't we make a generator? What's up? Wow, I thought I had everything to. Nanotubes. What's up with nanotubes? We need carbon substrates. Oh, we need logs. Great. Because I, I thought I had more logs than that. But that's not a problem because we've actually got a chainsaw. So what we're going to do is equip the chainsaw. Reload. Yeah, we need to get some. We've got to watch the temperature. So we're going to be very careful here. We can't afford to hang around too much. I think we just need enough to be on with I think that's probably about enough for the moment get back in the comfort of the warm we should oops keep on picking that up I don't know I don't know why I keep picking it up I think I must hook it by accident I'm just gonna drop that in there that should oh we need stone we don't have a lot of stone oh, God, yeah I forgot carbon substrates what is it here yeah, we need stone dust, we need rocks, okay. Uh, great. And it's dark, so we have to try and find some rocks in the dark. Oh, uh, great. And we do. Yes, we can grab that. And of course, whenever you want rocks, you can never find them. When, when you don't want them, you can find them everywhere. Yeah, a bit of a fail there on my part, guys. I forgot all about carbon substrate. That's silicon. Well, well, we're well, moving around. I don't think we need that much in the way of. Uh, I don't think we need that much in the way of rocks. We're just going to find them. Actually, let's just gonna take the heater with us. See, we're going to be operating in the dark, and we we're just going to that up. Let's go. Right, we're going on a rock hunt in the dark. That rock there. A quick look. That's copper. <laughs> and one copper. I want rocks. Rocks and stone aren't as common as they used to be in as compared to the early game. That looks like iron. That rock, that looks like silicon. I think if we head towards the water we might find that's copper I'll probably get some rocks in this area yeah there we are and some rocks yeah, there's some rocks here I don't think I need that many but we'll grab as many as we can Suspiciously like silicon, but seen I've walked over here, I might as well get up. Right, that 
there's, there's some rocks over here. Fly up. Where's the bike? The bike's over that way somewhere, isn't it? Right. More silicon. I think they've definitely changed the way resources have been uh, deposited in, in Alpha 10. Because once the only place you could really find uh, silicon was near water, and you seem to get a lot more of it now around. That, I don't know so much stone we got now. Got 20 stone. That should be enough to get us underway. So I'm just going to jump on the bike. Yeah, I don't think you need a lot of the uh, stone. I mean, once we got started, we can start making, get gathering more. All right, here we are. We're back here again. Let's just jump off. And of course, the well, first thing we're going to do is deploy the heater so that we stay alive. And what we should be able to do now is drop that in. And we've got 23 stones, so we should now be able to not fuel tank we can make a generator of course one thing i haven't made is a variable starter kit wow we've got spoiled food here already so some of our what we made is so what have we got we've got that there we're gonna need a, a couple of rcs's and of course we're going to need a few blocks as well. Very tempted to go with carbon substrate blocks, but I think we're going we'll to start with about 10 of those blocks. Of course we've got to make thrusters. So we, what we got, we got a cockpit, a fuel tank, single generator. Certainly want a small constructor, because the small constructor will make the, the fridge for the of a vehicle, we've got an armor locker here, so we could actually make a so we can make a suit, and I think what we're gonna do is cancel that and put the armor locker in first and then that in first. So, How are we doing for food? Right, let me just come here. Just another one. Oh, it says 10, but I think we're going to eat one of these because the perish time is going. The, the perish time is good for these. So, actually, let's drop a thorn in there and that in there as well. We don't need to carry this around. We don't need the energy pills. got a nice flat area here to build to the to actually build the ship so just keep an eye on that I'm just making the starter kit now so I'll just let that run what I'll do guys is I'll just let that build and I'll be right back once we got enough to build what we want to do All right guys welcome back what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to hook up with this and Generator, we should be able to get um, uh, put that in there and put that there. And what we're going to do is just start by if we put this here. Apologies for building in the dark, but I'm afraid that is part of the necessity of what we're going to do. I think. I mean, I would like to put some extra blocks there, but I think what we're going to do is go for something that's a, a bit longer than normal. Maybe we're just going to put you... Actually, no. Change. What we're going to do is put you there behind the... So that would give something for the cockpit to lock onto. And hopefully... Uh, we've now got this here. Back to our fuel tank. Got some blocks. We're currently building the armor 
you know, you will see the logic to this in a little while, guys. And what we can do is put the fuel tank on there. So we've got the generator, the fuel tank, and we'll soon have the armor done. And we can put the the small constructor in there. Now we probably won't power this up in this part, but what I want to do is get to the mounting the armor because I want to show you how you can do this without trouble the base repair stand here because we're getting cold again. So we on armor. Right, we've got some armor. We're now making the armor locker. And what we're gonna do is put the right, so what I'm gonna do is put the blocks on there. And I think what we're gonna do is put another three blocks up. Yeah, so we're gonna come back three block line, level lines like that. So this is gonna be quite a long ship. But what I'm effectively doing is laying a platform down for the the nature of what this ship's going to be. And so, Well, finish right hopefully now the armor lock will be finished yes thank you and what we're going to do is drop the armor locker quite literally into the center like that of course the nice thing now is that if i come in here it will tell me that I've actually got stuff, but what I can do is now access the armor locker and put some armor on. So we are now free from the tyranny of the resources. We've got a light so we can actually see what we're doing. We've now got our basic ship ready. I mean, I probably won't have the resources to finish this ship off, but now we've got the armor. We don't need this so much. So what we can do now is actually come in here and then what we can do is just effectively actually if we put that there if I can drag that down there we can drop that in there and, and I've got one more thing I want to do before I complete this video I'm just going to wait build finish the constructor I mean I've got a tiny amount of fuel so what we can do is uh, wait for that constructor to build. Well, so we've now got the constructor, and I'm just gonna, gonna drop the constructor literally on the back like that that's what it means we can do now is put some fuel in and i know some of you guys will be saying why is he putting fuel in a ship like this now one thing i do haven't built yet that i forgot to build is uh, we need a one cargo box we're just going to build the cargo box I mean, it should be enough for what I want to do. If it's not, it's going to be slightly embarrassing, but that would be okay. And how are we doing for ingots? We don't have a lot. And what I need is a, a few iron ingots. I think that's all we're really going to need. What do I, I can't see what? optical fibers and nanotubes so we're probably going to need them. so I'm just going to build the the get that build I'm just going to put that there I'm just going to shove the cargo box onto the ship here and then that means that if I hook onto here go to the all constructor access and we're just going to put this into the cargo box three 
and what do I need here? I want the H33, so we need electronics, steel plates, and nanotubes. Okay. Of course, we are now up onto using F4. What I'm going to do is just steal some stuff out of here. Oh, God, we've got creepy crawlies hanging around again. Wow. Okay, we'll just go get there first. And some silicon. I'm just going to dump some of that in there. And that in there as well. And I'm probably going to need carbon substrate as well. So where's that? Because what I'm, I'm, I want to do is actually just make a fridge. And what we should be able to do now is come in here, access, and make sure we build an HV fridge. And that should now build. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. I mean, hopefully it will go into cargo box. Actually, did I actually power the ship on? Nope. Ah, we were failure there, guys. Sorry about that. And right, it's now making this. I'm just gonna make the fridge. And I think I probably think you can probably guess where I'm coming from. Is if we can get a fridge mounted on here, that means we got a way to preserve food. And so we've now got armor. We got way to uh, way to preserve food. And, and even though this hover vehicle isn't complete with no thrusters, no RCSs, in fact, I could probably pick up the RCSs, give me something to do while I'm waiting for there. So we're just going to drop the RCSs there. I mean, it's not going to win any awards for elegance, but um, I don't really care about that, to be honest. Um, is this still building? Okay, come on. Come on, constructor. How long does it take you to build a fridge? Well, it says it's built. Okay, it's there now. Just me being impatient. And I think we're... We'll put the fridge up behind there. And that means I can now... Only food. Right, you out. Wait for you out. You spoilt. We got this here. So we can now come over here. I'm, I'm, we're going to put a wireless connector in. Oops, no. Nope. You've got to get really close to the hover vehicle. To do this, we've now got a fridge. We've got this in. And we've got some of these in for the moment so that we don't suffer from problems when I'm actually doing stuff. So most of this all can go back into here. And we. And I can say now we are officially out of pure survival mode. We are now getting a little bit of the upper hand because we've got this ship here. I will probably take this cargo container out so that we can put our, our carry containers in here. Cargo containers are not that much use except for what I've just used them for, for a quick manufacture here. And we're just going to have to leave the ship running. Just want to make sure. Just here, power off. I'm just going to turn off the small instructor to try and save a little bit of uh, power because I don't have a lot in there at the moment. So the next thing we're going to need to work on is some fuel for this. But at the moment I'm just using this as a, a kind of very simple base because I can now construct more stuff from this area here just to show you guys. i show you the small constructor. We certainly get access to better weapons here. We can make a assault rifle explosives, scatling guns, when and if we find Promethium. We've also got some wider options and we can see we can also make the Promethium fuel packs. We've got a lot wider range here. We're going to have to make a detector as well. I suppose I, yeah, well, we'll worry about that in the next part guys because I, at the moment I have no thrusters on here so that would be the um, so I think this is where I'm going to leave it for this part guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. Next part, we will continue working on getting this very basic hover vehicle up and running so we can go out, go mobile and start exploring. But that's all going to be for the next part. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.